So bladder preservation with radiotherapy is an increasingly used modality, but bladder radiotherapy itself is quite challenging because the bladder changes from day to day. And so to account for that over recent years, uh, systems of using pre-treatment imaging and then doing using adaption have come into play to try and improve the accuracy um, and the safety of radiotherapy to the bladder. So in the RADA trial, we're testing those concepts and trying to take steps a bit beyond that to see whether this adaptive treatment allows us to boost the tumour alone and reduce the total dose to the normal part of the bladder. The idea of that is that we'll reduce toxicity and perhaps these techniques will allow us to dose escalate, which we hope will then improve tumour control going forward. So to test this, we, we designed a randomised phase two study uh, which was being taken apart across centres across the UK, Australia and New Zealand. And uh, patients were randomised between a standard whole bladder treatment, a tumour boost treatment giving a standard dose of radiotherapy and a tumour boost treatment giving a dose escalation, dose escalation group. It was run as two parallel cohorts. There's two common fractionation schedules, one based on 32 fractions, one based on 20 fractions. So they were both assessed individually, separately for toxicity. The primary endpoint of the study was to see whether the dose escalator cohort uh, could be, dose escalation could be done without excessive toxicity. And we were aiming to rule out a rate of 20% grade three radiotherapy related toxicity, expecting there'd be a rate of about 8% in the um, standard arm. So first of all, we, we base this uh, treatment on giving three separate plans, a small, medium, large and adaptive treatment. And one of the, the key findings is that we found that the investigators used all three plans quite commonly. In fact, 60% of the plans had some form of adaption compared to what may be the more standard medium plan. And in fact, only less than 2% of patients use the same plan all the way through treatment, showing the need for this sort of approach to optimise treatment. And overall, the toxicity seen in the trial was, was, was very good. Um, there was no cases of uh, grade 3 radiotherapy rate of toxicity at all in the 32 fraction cohort and a single case in the dose escalator cohort on the 20 fraction arm and actually there was a, a case each in the, the other two arms so there was no evidence of increased toxicity. The primary endpoint was clearly met and even if we go beyond that and look at any grade 3 toxicity that was still below the threshold, the preset threshold. So we successfully showed that we could dose escalate using this technique successfully. The overall level of toxicity seemed to be less than previous studies in all the arms. There was no evidence looking at overall toxicity at any time point that the dose escalation group was worse, and maybe even a suggestion it might be slightly better. And that was particularly applied to, to grade two GU toxicity, though with the power of the study, we couldn't show that conclusively or significantly so. Local control rates were very good. Um, a, 87% of patients in the dose escalated group had control at three months in the check cystoscopy in the patients the way it was assessed. And the disease-free survival, the local disease-free survival rate at two years was 79% in the uh, whole bladder group and the, the non-dose escalated group and 85% in the dose escalated group. There was a hazard ratio of 0.75, not statistically significant because we didn't power the study to do that, we need to study about two or three times the size of what we recruited to be conclusively show that sort of difference. Um, but uh, overall, encouraging that we can dose escalate without excessive toxicity and achieve good control rates. The two year disease free survival rates, um, local disease free survival rates we saw, were actually better than what we've seen in our previous trial uh, called BC2001.